Okay, now we're going to go to very quickly look at how PowerNote works. So I'm going to pick this general complaint note. You can then hit OK or you can just double click on general complaint. And it's going to open the PowerNote. The first screen you're going to see is this uh, auto populate document screen. So basically this says here's everything we know about this patient either today or uh, long term. Like today we have vital signs from the nurse's flow sheet. There aren't any there because this is a test patient. Uh, we know this patient's surgical history. We know this patient's family history. There's the past medical history and the problem list. And if I want to include those, I just check them. I usually actually don't include it because sometimes it ends up being too long, but I could. Include the med list, include the allergy profile, include the chief complaint. So I select everything that I want to check. And this is going to stay the same the next time I open this general complaint encounter pathway or general complaint template. This will not be remembered when I open a knee pain template. Uh, so it's sticky within the same template is what I'm saying. So if I open a knee pain template and I make all these the way I want them, the next time I open the knee pain template, it will be the same. Then I hit OK and it opens the power note. So just to make this uh, easier to view, you can leave this like this and just work right here in the power note or you can hit this button here, which turns it to full screen mode. So with it in full screen mode, I think we can see it a little bit better. So just to basically orient you to the way PowerNote works. This is the sections of your note, and you can see these are mirrored over here. So this is the visit information, there's the visit information. Chief complaint, chief complaint. HPI, HPI. Review of systems, review of systems. So th that's mirrored, and if you want to navigate, you can either scroll in this view, or you can just click on one of these and it'll take you straight to that section. The other thing you'll notice in each of these sections is this hide structure uh, button here. If I click that, it will hide everything under review of systems. And if I show structure, it will show everything under review of systems. So if I hide structure, it's going to show me what my final review of systems note is going to look like. And I haven't done anything yet, so there's nothing there. But that does allow me to scroll down the note and see what automatically came in. The health status, the medicines, the histories, the family history all came in. Uh, the procedure history came in. So I can see what came in. So the, be the quickest way to navigate around this note is, is right here. Uh, the visit information is probably optional on most notes, but you can use that. The chief complaint is going to come in from the nursing intake, so we're not going to worry about that right now. Uh, and that's not in the hospital notes. History of present illness uh, is where you can enter whatever uh, HPI information you want. So this general complaint note just has a text box. When you click on this word other anywhere in PowerNote, it just opens this text box and you can type whatever you want. Um, so that allows you to enter a free text history. Um, oops, I scrolled. Okay, so there are some of the notes. If you click the knee pain note, it's going to have some uh, starting content in here that you could use to click, point and click your history of present illness. And that's going to work just like the review of systems and other sections below. So let's go look at one of those. If we go to the show structure on review of systems, we can see here, here's the whole review of systems. The way this works is if you click something once, it circles it. And then it's going to say the patient has had fever. If you click it twice, it's going to put a line through it, which means no fever. And if you click it a third time, it'll just clear it out. Um, or at any level, you can right click. Always remember to right click, and there's a whole bunch of things you can do, but one thing you can do is clear that. So if I put a bunch of things in here and I decide that's all wrong, I can go back here to this level and right click and clear. So I'm going to say no weakness, no fatigue, recent visual problem, nasal congestion. Some of these have a plus on them. So if I say decreased hearing, that's going to expand, and now I can say left or right or bilateral. It will only select, let me select one of those. So I can go down through the review of systems just like that. Cardiovascular chest pain, it's going to ask for more information. It's mid-sternal. If I want to add more details, I can just click on the other, crushing like an elephant. So that will add that in there. Now if I hide this structure, I can see what that's all going to look like in the final note. This is the working view of the note. If I click Hide Structure, I can see what the final note's going to look like. Constitutional fever, sweats, no weakness, no fatigue. 
so it compacts the things that you put in there. Chest pain, mid-sternal, crushing like an elephant. Okay? Uh, so let's work on down the note. Health status shows the meds. Histories is filled in for you. You can go into the past medical history, or if I click here, I can go out to the procedure history control, which we've talked about separately, and you can add or change that. Physical exam works just like the review of systems, okay? So the vital signs will actually already come in from the nurse's note, but I can say with the I, people's equal round reactive delight, I can say the TMs are clear, but here's another function I want to show you about power note. Everywhere you see these two arrows, that means you can expand this section. What you're looking at here is just a minimum amount of things. If you click the two arrows, it gives you a big section. This is the whole HNT exam. So let's say the TMs aren't clear. So I go down here to ear, and I say the left uh, TM is bloody, or let's just say it's not bloody, it's bulging, and it's erythematous, and I think I see fluid. Okay? So, but that's the left ear. Now how do I, I could say that that is both ears, but how do I examine the right ear? If, if I do that, I can just, if I, if I now need a right ear to examine, I just right click on ear, and I repeat this section, and now I have another ear exam, and I can say that the right end, the TM is intact, is not erythematous, is not bulging, and it has a myringotomy tube, let's say. So that's how you get a second um, ear to examine. So I can close that down so I can see better what I'm doing. So I can go through the rest of the exam. So that's the key things. If you see a plus here, it's going to give you more choices. And if you want more choices, you can click here. The other option, of course, is to just click on this other and to say to type in what you want to type. Left TM red and bulging right TM normal. So either one of those works just fine. Health maintenance is a section I'm going to skip right now because we're working on the health maintenance, uh, perennially working on making that better. Uh, I'm going to go down to the review management section. And this section is basically where you're going to add in any lab results. So if you click on all results, it will take you to a flow sheet, which this is a test patient, doesn't have any, where you can select some of those and then include them in the note. Um, or you can just say that I reviewed CBC was normal on 6-1. Okay? So that's the results review, lab results, radiology results. Uh, I can say that a CT was normal. I can type it there, or I can launch this RAD interpretation flow sheet, which if they had any, I could open the report and copy and paste parts of that report into the note if I wanted. Don't feel like you have to add things into the note, though, because they're all available in the chart with just a click or two. So it's kind of better to just put a brief summary. CT scan of the head was normal, or MR of the spine showed spondylolisthesis at two levels. Um, something like that. If I reviewed documents from a referring physician, sorry, wrong button, or prior records, I can click that here. This is basically helping me build my medical decision making, saying what did I review to make my decisions about this clay, this patient. Then I get down to impression and plan. So I know Dr. Dyer in the training is talking a lot about uh, problems and diagnosis and the interrelation between those. For the purposes of this tutorial, I'm just going to show you that I open the other diagnosis and it opens this diagnosis and problem view for this patient. The top here are diagnoses today and the bottom are the chronic problems of this patient. So this is a test patient who's in a mess. But I pick the diagnosis that I want and I include that in my note. I could say that it's uh, doing well. I could say progressing as expected. I could say whatever I want here. Um, then I place my orders here, and you're going to launch out to the order screen by clicking Power Orders. And uh, I'm going to review that in a separate video. So right now I'm just going to skip that. But when you go out there, those will pull into your note. You can add any plan, any summary that you want to do. And then if you want to add another section, you can right click on this and add another one. Or you can just go down here to this diagnosis and you can say next, di next problem is bitten by orca and I can say worsening and I can enter my orders about that, about that one. Okay? 
Any of these are repeatable by right clicking, so you can add as many of these as you want. Um, and we'll talk about orders more as I said. This insert diagnosis order association is a, is a smart template that pulls in, if you enter your order separately, then that will pull those in to your note, if you entered them not by launching out a power note, and that's a little beyond the scope of this video as well. Down here you can say who you talk to. I talk to the patient, family, friend about the diagnosis, safe and effective use of medicines, diet, nutrition. Uh, they verbalized understanding. So that's all going to make you a nice, neat note. Well, nice and neat is relative, but it's going to make you a uh, somewhat tidy note. So here, after I take all this down, here's my impression and plan. Diagnosis, struck by duck, course doing well. My, notes, my orders would appear here if I'd put any in. Diagnosis, bitten by orca, worsening, counseled, education. So that's all in my note now. This is sort of my final note. Um, when I'm finished with this note, and again, we're going to go through orders in a minute, uh, and I will show you how those look, but when I'm finished with that note, I can hit the sign submit. At any time working on that note, I can hit the save button, and it will let me save this note. Now one key here is you'll, you'll find that the chart's much easier to review if everyone will just put a title that, uh, about what they saw the patient for today. So sometimes I'll put hypertension, diabetes, sometimes I'll put uh, just a description of what I'm seeing the patient for. So as often as you want, hit that save button. There's not an auto save turned on right now in power chart, so you need to think about that uh, because rarely we do have crashes and you wouldn't want to lose something. So uh, when you're completely done with your note, you hit sign submit. If you're a resident, this is going to be checked and you're going to have to pick someone to endorse your note. So this is your last chance to change the name of your note. Uh, make sure the date is the correct date that you saw the patient and then you're going to have to look up your attending uh, to send it to them for signature. So you search for an attending the way I just did. You can type their name and if you hit enter you're going to get a choice of all of them and if it's Dr. Leanne Jenkins you can select her and then you want her to sign your note. Now when you sign it it's going to go off to them. If you want to uh, add another endorser, the second line, or if you want to add another person that wants to review it, so let's say you're a uh, urologist and I've referred a patient to you, so now you can look up uh, me in the system and you can say okay, and you can say I just look, I just want you to review this note, and I need Dr. Jenkins to sign this note. Um, let's say you're a cardiologist. So. When you sign this, it's going to send to my inbox a copy of this note, which I can then review. So I accidentally just sent that to Dr. Jenkins, so she's not going to know what's going on when I ask her to co-sign that note. So that's that's basic quick walkthrough of PowerNote. We're going to show you some other things separately in just a little bit, but uh, now we're going to give you some hands-on.